Welcome to ESPN Inside Deal presented by PokerStars.net. Laura Lane here with our poker pro Bernard Lee and our poker insider Andrew Feldman. Just hours ago, these seats behind us were packed with thousands of fans cheering on their favorite players. 15 action-packed hours later, we were down to our final two, Jonathan Duhamel and John Reisner. Hey everybody, Laura Lane here at OK Magazine's sexy single party here at New York Hotspot Juliet. We are back in the studio recovering from what we like to call a WSOP hangover. Laura Lane here with my man, our poker insider, Andrew AJ Suited Feldman. I like that introduction. You like it? What makes one sexy? I guess it's different. This makes one sexy. <laughs> Who would be your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush. Now you've heard from all the sexy singles, let's go check out the party. Laura Lane of OK Magazine out this week followed that story. The fact that they split just months after the story came out in the National Enquirer kind of speaks for itself. We heard rumors that Kristen and Rob were shopping for houses in the Isle of Wight. They spend so much time together, they can't keep it a private secret for long. Reese Witherspoon and Jake Gyllenhaal were such a great couple. I loved them together. And everybody thought that they were getting engaged, so this couple could be back on. Right here inside the Penn & Teller Theater, Jonathan Duhamel and John Reisner are gonna face off for the biggest title in all of poker. Andrew, I wanna know, what does Duhamel have to do to take it home? Well, that would be Alicia Keys. We had been suspicious of a baby bump for a while now, but a representative finally confirmed that Alicia Keys is pregnant. So eight years, they've had a lot of time to get to know each other. They're both grown up, I think they're ready, and they're really in love. Let's bring back in OK Magazine's Laura Lane for the truth behind the gossip. Laura, tell me what the truth is. Well, it's scary stuff, Chris, but I'm here to clear up all the rumors. Welcome back to ESPN Inside Deal. There are plenty of interesting stories out there in the poker universe, so let's hit them quick as we go around the felt. Libri is on the market, and no gentlemen, not that market. The European Poker Tour San Remo winner has left Team Ultimate Bet after deciding not to resign with the poker room when her contract expired. Liv is a hot commodity, Bernard. Where do you think she's gonna land? The World Poker Tour is looking for a Simon Cowell-like announcer, and it could be you. The WPT is looking for a commentator who can be, quote, brutally honest. Andrew, I have a feeling that that can't be too hard to find in the <laughs> poker community, right? Well, now on to some outrageous news in the poker community. Who knew that playing poker could keep you out of jail? Did you guys know this? No. <laughs> well, a New Mexico court has allowed poker player Samuel McMaster Jr. to travel out of the state to poker tournaments. The hope is that he'll earn enough winnings to pay back the $440,000 that he owes for defrauding the elderly. Good luck at the tables to you. <laughs> Bernard, is it just me or is this absolutely insane? Laura Lane here with our poker insider and the man behind ESPN.com's poker pages, Andrew Feldman. Gus Hansen, wait to take it down, right? But let's move on to event five, the big one, the main event. And we are going to break it down by the numbers. It has been another successful year. 346 players entered at 10,000 pounds a pop. Now remember, of course, that is pounds, not dollars. It's time for some snap calls. The first question is straight from our Poker Pick'em, which is our final table fantasy game. And you should all be playing it along with us on ESPN.com. How many players will be eliminated in the first four hours of play? Two or less, or three or more? Let's start with the guy that created the Poker Pick'em. Tons of poker players dream of winning the main event, but would you rather be the biggest poker star ever or the biggest rock star ever? Can I be both? You are a little <laughs> bit of both. Andrew, can you believe it's the end of our show? No, let's do it again. <laughs> we gotta thank Matthew Parvis and of course Vinder Reinen for coming on the show. Don't forget it is Poker Tuesday, so watch the WSOP on ESPN. And of course play in our home game on PokerStars.net. For Andrew Feldman and everybody here at the Inside Deal, I am Laura Lane. Good luck at those tables.